What myth is still widely circulated as truth? That you have to wait 24h before you can report a missing person. If someone is missing, go get help. If an HIV positive person has sex with another HIV positive person, they don't have to worry about protection. They do, because there are 140 different strains of the HIV AIDS virus, and getting infected with another strain, especially a potentially deadlier one, could be dangerous. Also, pregnancy is still a very big risk for HIV positive women. If you are considering a sexual relationship, get tested, and talk to your doctor about birth control. Just want to point out that women can be HIV positive while pregnant and not pass on HIV to their baby as long as they take the correct medications during pregnancy. They can even have a vaginal delivery if their viral loads are low at the time of the birth. This obviously doesn't address someone just not wanting to get pregnant but lots of people also believe that you can't responsibly continue a pregnancy if you're HIV positive and that's also false. Lemmings commit mass suicide. Perhaps the most influential and, for the lemmings involved, tragic, presentation of the myth was the 1958 Disney film White Wilderness which won an Academy Award for documentary feature and in which producers threw lemmings off a cliff to their deaths to fake footage of mass suicide, as well as faked scenes of mass migration. Human are really bad at committing confirmation bias. Lemmings aren't running off of cliffs by themselves. Hurl them off rather than reconsider that detail. People in general though the world was flat until Columbus sailed the ocean blue. No, the ancient world figured that out a long time before. People just thought that it wasn't possible to sail across the ocean to Asia because sailors would run out of food by then. While Columbus thought that wasn't case because he thought Asia was bigger than contemporary estimates. He actually thought the diameter of Earth was much smaller than contemporary estimates. Too, he was very wrong. The standard estimates were accurate. But he got lucky. The white on blue roundel and the BMW logo represents the white blades of a propeller against the blue sky, alluding to BMW's history as a manufacturer of aircraft engines. This myth was popularized in BMW's advertising for aircraft engines, and perpetuated by the movie Finding Forrester. In truth, the blue and white come from the Bavarian flag presented as a circular coat of arms in reverse order to avoid a trademark law prohibiting the use of symbols of state sovereignty in a commercial trademark. It was only in later marketing for aircraft engines they overlaid the logo over spinning propellers, as coincidentally it could be taken to look like a propeller against the sky. They made all sorts of engines for land vehicles as well. I was adamantly told by some seniors at work not to drink the water that boiled twice because it cooks the oxygen out of it. What is with seniors and water that's been boiled twice? My grandmother used to say that it would make the water radioactive I still can't wrap my head around the fact that a woman that had been a chemist her entire working life believed this. Though I've heard others who grew up in the Soviet Union, like my grandmother, echo this so perhaps it's some silly propaganda that stuck. I would love it if it turned out that it started as propaganda to reduce power consumption by the populace. That you can reduce fat from a particular body part. I always laugh at those electric belly jigglers. I got one just to cry and watch my fat jiggle. Then why do I have a goddamn needle dick? It's obviously because I work it out so much. He may have a needle dick but he fs like a sewing machine. You absolutely can. Just slowly roast it in on the oven rack with a tray underneath to catch the juices. Don't throw them away. They make a nice gravy, served with fava beans and an ice Chianti. That shaving makes your beard grow better. When I was a teenager, a lot of people told me that shaving would make my beard grow faster. Well, I didn't want to shave any more than I absolutely had to. So I often went weeks at a time without shaving. It wasn't the best look for me. The idea was that a teenager who'd keep patchy growth on would really want good facial hair, so the whole shaver to make it more prominent was just a clever way for adults to convince teenagers to keep that dirt stash off. Bulls hate red. They are actually colorblind and are reacting to the movement of the cloth and the a-hole behind it. You also got to keep in mind those bulls are poorly treated and usually given some kind of stimulants. Bulls on our ranch are actually quite friendly as long as it's not breeding season. Can confirm. I once had a bull knock me over and stand above me because he wanted chest scratches. He was a big baby that wanted what he wanted, when he wanted it. 
that the US spent over a million dollars and two years to develop a pen that could work in space whereas the Soviet decided to just use a pencil. In the early days, both used pencils. But since pencils are made out of graphite, and graphite is conductive, snapped graphite particles are dangerous in a pressurized space capsule to put it lightly. Fisher, the owner of the pen company, spent his own money to develop a pressurized ballpoint pen, and cost only about $3 per pen. Urine neutralizes jellyfish stings. Use vinegar instead. That stuff will actually save you, at least long enough for an ambulance to arrive can confirm that vinegar helps a lot, also warm salt water as well, both helped a lot when I got stung. The myth, you can tell if a snake is venomous or not by the shape of its pupil, slit for venomous, round for non-venomous, the truth, pupil shape has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not a snake has venom, and, if you're close enough to get a good look at a snake's pupils, you're probably close enough to get bit, the advice, if you cannot, from a safe distance, immediately identify a snake beyond a reasonable doubt, assume it's dangerous and behave accordingly, keep your distance, stay out of its direct path, and keep your eyes on it until one or the other of you leaves the area. Gum takes 7 years to digest, no that's if you eat people. People take 7 years to digest, no, gum takes 7 people to digest. That Marilyn Manson removed 2 of his ribs to blow himself. I will never understand how this one traveled around the world before widespread use of the internet for stuff like this. Some of the other ones, sure, they were stuff that sounded medical or scientific were circulated by papers or magazines, but this one somehow circulated in places that may have never even known who Marilyn Manson was. So you're telling me I didn't have to remove two of my ribs to be able to blow Marilyn Manson? You didn't have to but I appreciate you going the extra mile. Daddy long legs are actually the most poisonous spiders in the world but don't have long enough fangs to bite you. For those who doubt, HTTPS, NM Wikipedia or Wiki Falsity. Holy sh, I didn't know daddy long legs effing ate other spiders, black widows nonetheless. And here I thought those guys just chilled in their web and are fruit flies and sh. That goldfish have a 6 second memory, I mean it's still not great, I think like a couple months. But still, get your fish a bigger damn tank. Catherine the Great died after attempting to have sex with a horse. This myth was started by the French. And then they ask why everyone believes Napoleon was a tiny, tiny man. Napoleon being small was a myth started by the British. Scientists don't know how bees fly. Scientists discover bees aren't airplanes or birds. That's because flies fly. Whereas bees be, they do be. According to all known laws of aviation. You, with the physics, get out of here, it's a mystery. Undercover police have to tell you they are policemen when you ask them. Breaking Bad has a great scene where an undercover cop tricks a guy into selling him drugs using this myth. I thought we were going to hang out, poor badger. Sounds like a perfect rumor for cops to spread. That MR, Rogers was a sniper and or had tattoos covering his arms, both untrue. Fred Rogers lived a pretty mundane live and dedicated considerable time to creating television programming that didn't rot kids brains. That we only use 10% of our brain. My cousin had a roommate who thought this and tried to use 100% of his brain to run through a wall. Guess some people do use 10% of their brain. I love the idea that using more of his brain would somehow let him think his way through a wall. Something about touching baby birds and their parents abandoning them due to the smell of human touch. One time my son came home smelling like a bird and I told him to get the hell out and never come back. Nobody wants a chicken fair for a son. The idea behind this statement was so that you don't get attached to wild animals, and that not all animals can be domesticated. It's more so a deterrent than it to be true as with some of these other popular wrong truths. Your blood is blue and not oxygenated. This is one of those things that my wife knows, admits isn't true, but I think still has a really hard time believing it just because she believed it for so damn long. Every so often this topic comes up with my daughter and my wife is like but isn't it? Oh yeah, right, it's not. And then she has this look in her eyes like truth is dead and beauty is a lie. Flebitomist here. Blood is two shades of red. Dark red for venous blood and bright red for arterial blood. Due to the arterial blood being oxygenated, veins look blue through the skin due to how light penetrates the skin. 
you generally won't see arteries through the skin as they are deeper to keep us alive. They are under more pressure due to being pumped by the heart to provide oxygen rich blood to the body. If you cut one femoral, brachial, carotid, you can bleed to death in minutes that's why our bodies keep them protected. In all my years doing this job I have only seen one variation of color and that was orange blood due to an active hepatitis C infection. Serum on the other hand can be green, milky or fluoro yellow. That was everywhere as a kid, didn't help that our veins appear blue due to lack of light. Wouldn't blame a 9 year old believing that. That people in the middle ages only lived to 40 or something. There was a lot of child dead, thus lowering the average age. Living till 60, 70 years old wasn't strange. It was definitely more common to die early because of lack of medical care. But yeah it's not like people dropped of old age at 40 or 50. People believe in the whole alpha and beta wolves thing. It's not true. The leaders of the pack are the parents. In natural wolf packs, the alpha male or female are merely the breeding animals. The parents of the pack. And dominance contests with other wolves are rare. If they exist at all. Yup. The guy who pioneered this theory spent the rest of his life. Or is spending the rest of his life. Trying to debunk this. He's a biologist L. David Mech. His PhD thesis in the 1960s studied captive wolves and was the best science of its time. There is a lot of science from the 1960s that is outdated 60 years later. In 1999, Mech published Alpha Status, Dominance, and a vision of labor in wolf packs which studied wild wolves and represented the science of the 1990s, which is a lot better than the science of the 1960s. He wrote in 1999. The concept of the alpha wolf as a top dog ruling a group of similar aged compatriots is particularly misleading. Mech is still alive, and that people still push the idea of the alpha wolf and that his original book containing that theory is still published continues to piss him off. He is a great example of science and scientists doing a great job. He did research, it was the best for the time, and published it. Then he did more research, learned new stuff that contradicted the old stuff and changed his views based on the new information. This is how science and research is supposed to work. Nobody, reasonable, is criticizing him for holding the old views when he held them or for doing the initial research. The captivity studies were a necessary part of the process. The singer Kira is a man. She just popped out her third kid. This is still circulating. Are you possibly thinking of the singer Lord? I've heard compelling arguments that she's not a New Zealand pop singer, but actually a 45 year male geologist from a small town in Colorado. Knuckle cracking doesn't lead to arthritis, it's just an old wives tale people use in place of simply telling you it's annoying them. Crack away. That the tongue has different regions for salty, sweet, bitter and sour. Why were we ever taught that? Damn you Ms. Frizzle. Organic crops don't use pesticides or herbicides. Can you expand upon this? Cause just sagged. This video is really good. Holding B down increases your chances of catching a Pokemon. Basically any schoolyard Pokemon rumor. I wasted so many hours scouring the sea foam cavern looking for that stupid mist stone. If you beat the elite for 13 times in a row without doing anything else in between. A secret door will open up. That you can tell if someone is a virgin by looking at their hymen to see if it is intact. OMG. I recently remembered that in middle school and high school. We believed that you could tell someone wasn't a virgin if they had a thigh gap. My husband said he was a virgin when we first met but when I checked his hymen it was completely gone. A lot of people still believe a woman sued McDonald's because her coffee was hot. In reality the woman had third degree burns throughout her pelvic area and only asked that her medical bills be paid. It was like only $30k or something and McDonald's went nope. Here is like $200 bucks. So she sued. They were selling illegally hot coffee without a proper warning. Then, McDonald's spread this lie to keep their good name. Also, the lids on the cups did not seal securely. There already had been a number of burns reported as a result of the lids popping off and spilling boiling hot coffee on people. This point figured prominently in the civil trial against McDonald's. I once edited the Wikipedia page about this because it was ridiculously biased towards McDonald's, like citing their own spokespeople to support their own statements. Every time I edited, someone immediately edited it back. This case and the spin they put on it had very wide implications. That historical armor was useless. 
or just something you wore so you had a slight chance to turn a death blow into merely a serious injury. Shows and movies still perpetuate this. Game of Thrones has acclaimed sword fights where guys casually shove swords through dudes in plate armor. Impossible. Metal is not cardboard. Even the most basic iron or bronze chain mail armor will be barely scratched by a slash from the sharpest katana. Well made plate armor is impervious to old damage short of a blow from a specialized armor piercing weapon. Lance, Polax etc. Even the earliest guns couldn't penetrate plate armor. Armor was incredibly expensive. Common people couldn't afford it so made do without or, if lucky, with fabric armors that were still very effective protection. A suit of custom-made plate would have cost a night the equivalent of modern high-end luxury car. Why would people pay that much for something useless? Armor was very useful. That's why weapons continued to advance over the centuries and why armor did as well. It was an arms race. Just to add to this on the light armor point. A cloth gambeson, padded shirt, was extremely effective against slashing weapons and still pretty effective against anything other than a straight thrust from a spear. Swords are a sidearm. Pole spear weapons were the most common and effective main weapons throughout history. No katanas lopping off an arm in a single blow with even just a gambeson. It was called the Dark Ages because the electric bill was in the Roman Empire's name and when it collapsed the power got cut off. It took several hundred years to scrape up the money for the past due bill plus the reconnection fee. Also adding to the delay was the fact that people worked from dawn to dusk and there was no one to sit around all day waiting for the dude to come flip the switch. That MSG is very bad for health and anything with it is seen as unhealthy. That washing chicken gets it rid of bacteria. No. Cooking chicken gets rid of bacteria. Given that you do it well. Washing chicken, on the other hand, can contaminate your whole kitchen with salmonella. That whole you eat 7 spiders a year myth. It was created by some lady in the late 90s or early 2000s to prove that ridiculous things can be found on the internet, spread like wildfire, and believed by many. It's actually 7 in a lifetime. If you're on your deathbed and have only swallowed one the other 6 will swarm your mouth at once. That hot chicks in my area wanna ref. Shaving hair causes it to grow back longer and thicker. The food pyramid. So much bread. Everybody knows about big tobacco and big pharma, but what about big gluten using scams like this to line their pockets? The Bermuda Triangle. Turns out ships and planes disappear at the same rate all over the world's oceans. The mystery of how the pyramids were built. They know how they were built. Ramps, pulleys, ropes and labor. That vaginas get loose the more sex they have, they do not. That violent video games are linked to violent behavior. Mass shootings etc. Remember when Columbine was blamed on Marilyn Manson? That the people in Jonestown used Kool-Aid to commit suicide. You hear the term drank the Kool-Aid for someone blindly following orders. It was actually Flavor Aid. I know it a dumb distinction. I'm sure it makes the Flavor Aid people happy.